I want to go over a quick demo on the difference between vector versus raster. So if you look at the screen here, you can see two different logos. They're very small because I'm going to enlarge them. The one on the left is a vector. The one on the right is a raster. And as we get bigger, you'll be able to see the difference. Keep zooming. They look pretty good right now, but let's get way, way into it. Just to show you the difference, look how sharp this edge is right here. This is showing you a vector. Let's keep looking at this. Now see the squares? Those are pixels. So that means this is a photograph or a continuous tone. It was taken as a screenshot from the web which sometimes we do, we get caught up in that. It's not really that useful if it's low res, unless you're designing a website. But as far as our printing, a lot of the vendors will tell you right off they want vector, and what does that mean? So I'm going to another mode in uh, Adobe Illustrator here, and it's showing you that all this here is outlined. It's outlined, and it's uh, a mathematical vector. So I can click on this, I can take the little anchors, I can move them, it's very flexible, and I don't want to do that actually, but it is possible. If I go back to um, the other mode, I can actually click on this, and in some cases, we might need to change the color. Let's look at our swatches here. I'm going to change this to black. So why would I do that? If this was going to be etched, they don't need the color. They just want to use this as an etching on your glass or your pen or what have you. This, I can't do that. If you notice, I click on it, and when I go to the outline view, it's gone. It's just a big photograph that's really, again, not too useful. So what are some other clues? If you look over here at some of these files, they'll tell you EPS dot EPS. This one's a screenshot. It's, it's not a vector. Um, the file types that you want to look for would be SVG AI, which is Adobe Illustrator, EPS um, encapsulated postscript, or PDF. PDF's kind of a wild card. Sometimes there's a vector within it that your customer provides. Sometimes not. We like to open it and take a look. The dead giveaway for the ones that are raster that won't work are a ping file, a JPEG, or a TIFF. Those are the ones, guarantee, if your factory wants a vector, that's not going to work. So let's look at these. Without touching this, what do you think? Vector or raster? This one almost looks like it could be a raster. But when I click on it, you can see that the tree is outlined. Look at that. I'm going to the outline mode. I can get my zoom tool. I can zoom way in on that. And that is all vector. Let's go back to the preview mode. I can click on this. I can change the color. I can move it. Same with the font. Now, this is what we call an outline font. Which is great because when we open this in Adobe Illustrator, we don't need to own the font or get the font. If it's something we're not going to change, this is perfect. And again, you can change the color as needed. This one has a lot of colors in it, but yet it still is vector as well. Um, all these little pieces. Uh, this was probably drawn years ago as let's say a marker drawing and somebody went along with a pen tool and created a vector like that. So that's an example. I just did that quick. That's actually a vector and I can alter that and do what I need to do to it. Um, other tools in Adobe Illustrator are also vector. If you're doing something like this, um, again, it's a mathematical point. You can fill it, you can stretch it, you can do whatever needs to be done. And 
also very complex things have been traced. Now, on occasion, somebody will say, okay, I don't have it. The customer doesn't have the vector, just recreate it. Well, something like this is very involved. And we would attempt to use a trace tool in Adobe Illustrator, but sometimes it just doesn't work. It's just too complex. The computer doesn't recognize certain things right off. So guess what? The designer's going along like this. Let's, um, going along like this, tracing everything by hand, that whole thing, the entire tree, even the lettering at some point. Um, not the best scenario. And we also use Florida Punch. Um, they're okay. They're, they're good people. They, they do what they can, but we're not always satisfied with the outcome. So getting back to that, if you can get a vector, if you can get an SVG, AI, EPS, or PDF, that's a great starting point. Look for the extension on your files and that will tell you before you even open it. It's a great clue. I can spot that a lot of times. People say, hey, look at this file, Kevin. Is it a vector? And I can say no before I even open it because it's a PNG file. It's not going to have that mathematical outline to it. So if you have any questions, you want to send us a file, we'll take a look at it. Um, give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you.